welcome to the Burke Briefing, where it is our goal to answer questions and provide information to our members of the community. Today, I have joining me Ms. Patrice Tony, one of our assistant city managers here at the city of Winston-Salem. Ms. Tony, many nonprofit, boots on the ground, community organizations, and members have asked me about funding. So I would like to ask you a few questions on their behalf. The first question is, what funding opportunities does the city offer to nonprofit organizations? Well, thank you, Councilmember Burke, and I'm glad to be here and help answer some of these questions. In 2014, the City Council adopted a uniform policy and process for nonprofits and grassroots organizations to actually apply for city funding. And so that funding is available to any uh, established nonprofit, uh, and there are opportunities for grassroots organizations as well. Uh, the opportunity opens up every October of every year. Uh, it is part of our budget cycle, but we start the applications in October. They have about a month to apply for city resources. There is a checklist of items that nonprofits need uh, to complete uh, in order to um, be eligible for city funding, but it is available every year in October. The funding becomes available in July of that following year. The next question, are there funding opportunities for grassroots or boots on the ground groups? So for those organizations like grassroots organizations, organizations that are just starting, boots on the ground, who we know uh, does a lot of work, sometimes without resources, without funding, there are opportunities for them as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the city created an opportunity called seed funding. And so organizations that may not meet all of our eligibility requirements to get full funding, that nonprofits that have boards, that have 501 c three status that have all of those other um, elements or eligibility requirements, uh, the grassroots who aren't there yet still has an opportunity to apply. Uh, those resources are up to about $5,000. Um, we call it seed funding, and we do require mandatory training for uh, grassroots organizations really just to build capacity, mm -hmm. their capacity to be able to uh, later, maybe in a two or three years, to apply for, for the bigger uh, city resources. Thank you for that information. And the last question, Ms. Tony, how much seed funding can a grassroots organization receive? Yeah, so what we really like for grassroots, many of the grassroots organizations have similar interests. You know, so a goal would be for them to work with other agencies, which actually ultimately builds their capacity for more resources. Um, individually, 5000 would be the maximum that they can apply under seed funding. You know, if they connect with other organizations that are doing similar work, has similar mission, similar boots on the ground activity, uh, they can compile those resources and be even more effective um, towards the mission and goals of what they have. We, we do encourage partnerships. We do encourage them to work with faith faith-based institutions and other areas that um, are providing similar type of services to make for a larger impact. So we hope that seed funded, grassroots, boots on the ground agencies uh, continue to build their capacity to have a bigger impact and ultimately be eligible for um, our community nonprofit funding with, of larger amounts. Well, I tell you, you have provided a wealth of information, and I just have one final question. How can our, our community members access this information that you just shared? So uh, this is an annual process. Each year, however, uh, we look to update it, make it better, make it easily accessible. Mm -hmm. But all the information will be available on our website at cityofws.org. They can go there, click on community agency funding, and then they will be, there will be updates on our process. I would encourage people to start looking around August or September for updates and so that they are ready come October to be able to apply and they'll have about a month window to get their applications in. 
thank you so much, Ms. Tony, for providing this information. And so now, our community members will know where to go to access funding to support the initiatives that they are working on to make our community a safer and better place for all. Thank you so much for joining us. You're so welcome.